Hello and welcome to alchemist.camp where we learn elixir and phoenix by building things. Today we're going to talk about something that's really easy in rails and actually isn't quite so easy in uh, elixir and phoenix but it's still pretty important and that is headers and titles and meta information that's specific to each page. So if you look at the title of alchemist.camp it is hello campsite and if we look at the episodes view, the title is still Hello Campsite. And if we look at a single episode uh, over here, the title is still Hello Campsite. And the reason for this is I've basically just got the default Phoenix install. Let's full screen this and look a little bit more closely. In the header of the overall app layout, we have a whole bunch of meta information that is hard coded in here. Um, this is a favicon that I added myself, style sheet, and then a title. And what you would normally do in a Rails app is you would yield the title. You would say full title or whatever you're gonna call it, yield title. And then in whatever view you're gonna use that title, you just provide it. Provide title, learn from experts. So on this particular site, if you looked at this index of interviews, every title would be learned from experts. Whereas on the primary application index and on other pages, there would be other things. So the question is, how do we do that in Phoenix? And it's not that straightforward. In fact, there's nothing we can specify inside any index view that will tell the layout what title to use. The reason for that is the layout is rendered first. So by the time we get to the point where we are rendering uh, whatever page we're gonna render, which is happening in here, by the time we get to that point, the layout is already rendered. So um, this can't retroactively go back and give the layout some other information. There is a way to do this though, and we're gonna go through it in two steps, or three, depending on how you count. So got the title down here and a bunch of meta information above. What we'll do is we'll move the title up to the top and then we'll just copy all of these lines for the uh, meta info and the favicon. Actually, we'll cut them and paste them into a new file, which we'll call meta.html.eex. Like so. And then from our app.html.eex, that's our, our main layout, we'll replace everything that we just cut out with a render call. So we'll render a campsite, which is the name of our app, campsite web.layoutview, meta.html, and pass it the assigns. And all is still good, got the same title. So to make this more flexible, we're just gonna use this as a fallback. That will get rendered if and only if there isn't anything set up for a page specific render. So we'll put this down on a new line and we will render existing, which basically checks for a template and renders it if it's there. And we'll take a view module and we're going to render the template meta dot plus whatever the template would have been and we get that from the view module or we get that from the view template and still pass it in the assigns so here we go we're first going to look for a view module called meta whatever so say we go to the episodes index we should find meta dot index dot html dot eex and if that's there, we'll use that meta information. If it's not there, then we'll use the default. So saving this and looking at the episodes index, it should be exactly the same meta information it was. And we can see there's still the same title. But now, if we were to go to our episode directory and create a new file that's called meta.index.html.eex, and we'll copy in the same information we have here, for our default, except we're going to change the title. This title is going to be 
Hello, Elixir episodes. And as you can see, we now have a different title. Hello, Campsite versus Hello, Elixir episodes. And the single one is still okay. And it still has the same title that it did have. Although we could easily change that. We can make one for show. Meta dot show dot html dot eex and paste in the same information except now let's let's make these specific let's say uh, learn elixir and then we're going to use the title from the episode now if we look in the show we can see that the episode is available and episode dot title is available they're also going to be available inside this meta so episode dot title and now we go back and we have a title that's not interpolated so we gotta, gotta do that if we want to interpret that as the variable instead of just a little literal string okay so now the title is learn elixir the awesome episode and if we were to open this one it would be learn elixir the meh episode there we go so uh, that's kind of neat what's not so neat though is we're going to end up littering every single template folder with these extra meta dot whatever uh, templates and in some cases like with topics we'd need one for tagged which is a special view as well as show as well as index and that, that'll get kind of messy so we're going to use a different strategy what we'll do is we'll delete these and then we're going to define uh, render responses for those templates straight from our episode view views are often a bit overlooked but they come in handy from time to time so we'll define the render right in here render and uh, the first thing we're going to render is uh, meta.index.html and it's going to take assigns and it's actually not going to use them and inside this render we'll use the e sigil which is for making eex actually it's super handy here and we can just paste all that in and that's that's our our eex Then we can define another render, which is actually going to be about the same deal, except it's going to be for show. Show, and this one needs assigned, so we will get rid of that and like this elixir learning. And once again, got to grab out that uh, that property from the assigns we passed in episode dot title and did we break it looks like we broke it uh, render two is undefined that is because we do need the assigns because we need to get the con from assigns so change all of these to assigns dot con and these two need to retain the information passed into them. All right, now we have fantastic Elixir episodes and Elixir learning the awesome episode. So both of these are working fine. And as you can see, this is a bit cleaner. Like we don't have to uh, litter every single template directory with these templates, but this is still kind of a lot to type in. So we can abstract it a little bit further. And basically all we really wanna be doing in these is we wanna be giving it the information that is specific to the episode. So titles are gonna change all the time. Uh, what else? Rel canonical links, which aren't even in the app at this point because of the fact that everything was unified in a single, uh, a single layout template. And obviously not every page can have the same rel canonical. Um, those kinds of things should be here. Title, rel canonical, and author is probably another good one. 
to leave in these templates. And then everything else can go into a shared template. So let's make a new directory for shared templates. That's something that's pretty useful to have even if you're not worried about SEO stuff. And we'll add a file to it called common meta dot html dot eex this common meta is where we'll put all of this stuff that is the same from page to page get rid of all those extra tabs all right we'll save that and then in our episode view we'll just render the template and the way you render a template that's in a different template directory is by explicitly naming the module. So render campsite web dot shared view common meta dot html and we'll pass in the assigns. And there we are. We've got the same template back. Is there a problem here or is that just from that was from an intermediate step all right so so this is all it takes to render our shared template although it's it's better it's still not excellent it's it's a fair amount to type still so what we can do is uh, well this is definitely progress we can make a, a helper function that all the views can use and the way we do that is we'll just add it to our shared view. We'll call this render shared. And that'll just uh, uh, get rid of some of the boilerplate since we are gonna use this in pretty much every single view. Uh, template and assigns or nothing. And then we'll just render template with the assigns okay and then in order to be able to use this we have to include this from the views uh, we actually there are a couple ways we could do this we can't include this in our web.ex because that is already injecting a macro into our view we would basically be defining this function inside of itself but we can just include this once at the top of each uh, view file. And that's, I think that's a reasonable compromise. So we'll say import uh, campsite web dot shared view and only render shared. To arity. Now we should be able to replace this with render shared. Render is undefined. Shared view dot render is undefined. Let's see here. Shared view uh, four cannot invoke local assigns one inside match. Oh, okay. This is a typo and the formatter made it worse. It should have been that way okay there we go okay so now we have the same functionality we did but it's a bit more convenient so we can replace all this with render shared and we could go one step further which would be to uh, in we couldn't import this function but we could just copy this entire function into our web.ex which is campsiteweb.ex. Uh, inside our view, we have these various imports. Well, we can just paste the function in down here. And now every single view will have this because it'll get injected from this quote when the view uh, does its use campsite web view. So this should have should either work or break every single yeah okay it broke everything Let's see what's going on oh 
Oh, I guess I just had to restart IEX. I probably broke something earlier while editing. Okay, so this is pretty easy. I basically just made this empty view and made a, a, a directory in the templates called shared. Put the common meta attributes that everything or everything's going to want. And actually, while I'm at it, I should go back to this original meta that we put in the layout. This can also use a common meta for everything except the author, which I might as well just set to Alchemist Camp. And yeah, remove all of these and replace it with a call to render shared and a common meta dot html and better check the view source make sure this still has all the things that we expect it to have author alchemist camp all right we got all that and we have separate titles based on the page and it's going to be very easy to make a separate rel canonical for each page as well so this is a massive SEO improvement over what it was, and hope you found it useful. If so, go to alchemist.camp and sign up and click the bell on YouTube so you get more videos like it in the future. I'll see you next time.